Well, I had went to Cali last year, and I had linked up with um, Jr. I went, I popped up at him in Noy Crib. He was out there just vibing the beat, smoking. I'm fresh off paper, so I'm smoking. I'm chilling with them, and we was listening to the beach. And I said, I'm gonna just take these home, and I'm gonna rock with them. So I had did um, one of the tracks that's gonna be on another project coming out. I did the beat and sent it to them, and they liked it. And I was like, Yo, we gotta do a solo drink, but I wanna come to Cali. Like, I just got tired of doing the email thing. I got tired of sending music back and forth and hey yo can you fix this up turn this down i just wanted to be right there you know what i mean so i had to i had the time to make it out the cali and put the project together we we kept coming up with random dates and then we just finally went through with it like yo, i was about to fly out you know the project was really going to be called menace and venice but i was like nah let's do something let's make it just straight smoke we in la we, we out here smoking the best weed we spoke at fiesta og gary payton Jet Life, we smoking Marathon OG, we smoking all the good weed. And we had a cypher. My boy Hus Kingpin came through. Um, Flashes Clayton came through that night. Um, my boy Planet Asia came through. DJ Bean, shout out to Bean. She was in the building. Sauce, I had my cousin Dex in town. Um, he came out there with me. And everybody rolling up. There's other people there too. That I, I met in Maybe that night. Shout out my boy in Maybe. He was in there. So everybody rolling up. We just passed them blunts. You can't say we ain't smoking 100 blunts out there. I'm smoking one night, we smoked 40. So, you know what I mean? That, and that was a Saturday. We stayed till Monday, Friday to Monday. We smoke, we smoke as soon as we wake up. We go to the studio, we smoke it. We go to Roscoe, we smoke it. We go to the little spots, we smoke We go to the Staples Center, we smoke it. We ride and we smoke it. We go in the studio, we smoke it. We shoot videos, we smoke it. You can't just, come on, man. We smoke it so much. Like it's regular. Like it's regular. We did the video, we did the song, we did all that in the week, in the, I mean, in the weekend. We did all that in the same weekend. Like when I was out there, I had um, we went shopping, bought, I bought an outfit. That's why I got the Deodora jacket out there. We went on Venice Beach late night. We filmed my parts. We filmed some of Planet Asia parts. We did some later when I left. And um, did the whole project, though, we were just listening to the beats and they're vibing. And he liked the one beat that was planned. And, yo, we got to get on here. We got to do something. And then, he took the beat home, I took it home, we came back the next day, and we knocked it down. And then we did the video the next day. <laughs> None of the features was planned for this project. When I tell you, uh, JR sent me the beats, all these beats, I only came with one thing prepared, and that was the arrival. Everything else was fresh. I did everything in Cali. I wrote it down, heard the beats out there. But the arrival was the only one that I came there with prepared. But like as far as Planet Asia hopping on the track, he, you know that you know him and Diggs is they they boys. So he was there when I was out there, and we already worked together. So you know he was like we got to get on something. And he came we came together with Cookies joint. You know what I mean? And Flashes came through. That's my first time meeting Flashes when he did the El Pollo Loco. That's my first time meeting him. You know what I mean? He could have been like Nah, I'm good. He could have been a jerk, a dickhead. But he blessed me with a crazy freak, a crazy verse. So. I appreciate the love, man. That's my that's my dog for that, man. All the track listing, I kept it like West Coast, like Jewels on Melrose, you know what I mean? Cookies, Fiesta OG, that's the weed that was out there. Then, you know, El Pollo Loco with Scissor. El Pollo Loco is like a, a, a West a West Coast thing. You know, we don't got that here. We got Mighty Taco and Taco Bell, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, I, I want to keep everything strictly West Coast. That was the plan, like just keep it for the West Coast. I want to make a project for my West Coast fans. Like, that was just a vibe. It was just a vibe. I was just basically on there just venting, you know what I mean? Just speaking my piece and how I was feeling out in Cali. Like, like I said, I had to take a trip to get away from some shit and find my purpose. You know what I mean? I just wanted to get get out of this, this email thing. I wanted to get that feel back, you know what I mean? Like, working with artists and one-on-one -on -one chemistry, you know what I mean? I, I like that, so that was just like a vibe. I was like I said, just expressing how I was feeling and venting, and I just put it together well in the rhymatic melody feel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, at who is Jamal Gasol, my official website, jamalgasol.com. I'm a Capricorn. I like long walks on the beach. Um, my favorite strain is papaya cheese. I don't know if you ever, I don't know if you're uh, 420 friendly, but my favorite strain is papaya cheese for, for everybody to know. Yeah, that's a nice little sativa. I mean, they're a nice little sativa. They don't really put you down, you know? How you, how you up, you know? I like, I like that. <laughs>